Recent reports from Chinese media, as highlighted by Zhao Bao on October 31, 2024, indicate a pivotal moment in China's naval capabilities. The successful completion of the first dual carrier exercise involving the Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carrier fleets in the South China Sea. This exercise not only underscores China's growing maritime power, but also reflects its strategic military objectives. The Liaoning Carrier Group has recently returned to its home port after an extensive annual Far Sea combat training mission that spanned several critical maritime areas, including the Yellow Sea, East China Sea, and South China Sea. During this period, the fleet engaged in a series of comprehensive drills designed to simulate real combat conditions. Crews were reportedly on high alert throughout the deployment, emphasizing the exercise's seriousness and operational readiness. Recent satellite imagery released by Airbus Defense and Space further highlights the importance of this exercise. The images show the Liaoning docked at Sanya Naval Base following its Western Pacific exercises, with a Shandong positioned on the opposite side of a large pier, accompanied by escort vessels like the Type 052D destroyer and the Type 051B destroyer Shenzhen. This dual carrier exercise represents the first operational display of both carriers since their last appearance together at the Dalian shipyard. At that time, the Shandong was newly launched and not yet operational, while the Liaoning had not fully achieved combat capability. Conducting joint operations with two aircraft carriers serves multiple strategic purposes. Power projection and deterrence. Dual carrier exercises enable concentrated power projection, showcasing the capability to deploy and sustain substantial air and naval power in a specific region. This display serves as a formidable deterrent against potential adversaries, signaling not just military strength but also operational flexibility. Operational coordination. Effective dual carrier operations require highly coordinated maneuvering and air wing integration. This level of operational sophistication is essential for protecting high-value assets in potentially hostile environments. The U.S. Navy, for instance, routinely conducts dual carrier exercises to optimize tactics for safeguarding carrier groups and enhancing interoperability among various naval units. Resilient defense systems. From a tactical standpoint, dual carrier operations create a layered defense mechanism. One carrier group can maintain offensive operations while the other engages in defensive tasks, such as missile defense or anti-submarine warfare. This dual capability significantly enhances combat endurance, particularly in protracted scenarios where air superiority is vital. Logistical resilience and readiness. Exercises involving dual carriers also facilitate advanced cross-deck operations, where aircraft and resources can be shared between carriers. This logistical resilience enhances air readiness and ensures rapid responses to emerging threats. In a broader geopolitical context, such exercises convey a strong commitment to allies and demonstrate the ability to respond effectively to simultaneous or widespread threats. Recent U.S. deployments in regions like the Eastern Mediterranean illustrate this dynamic, where dual carrier operations have reinforced partnerships with NATO allies and deterred potential adversaries. This capability underscores the importance of carrier strike groups in modern maritime dominance and collective defense strategies, particularly in areas characterized by complex security challenges. China's successful dual carrier exercise involving the Liaoning and Shandong fleets signifies a major step forward in its naval capabilities and strategic military posture. By showcasing the ability to conduct coordinated operations, China sends a clear message to both allies and adversaries regarding its commitment to maritime security and readiness to project power in contested regions. As global maritime dynamics continue to evolve, the implications of such exercises will resonate throughout the region and beyond, shaping the future of naval warfare.